Okay, hi everybody. Um, ready to get started now. So Jonathan McCall speaking. Um, I'm uh, one of the full-time lecturers in Escape Studios in London, and I'm currently teaching on uh, the full-time 3D courses, but I also teach them 2D courses. Okay, so I teach everything from modeling, texturing, lighting, rendering, plus a bit of rigging and animation, plus I also teach Duke and compositing, and also silhouette as well. So the software that I normally try and use, and um, my kind of favorite, uh, well, <laughs> I think I suppose it depends a little bit on the job. Okay, um, I use Maya all the time, but then when it comes to sculpting, I use a lot of uh, ZBrush. Today, actually, we're going to be looking at Mudbox, because um, there are some really interesting skills um, which you can do in Mudbox, which are kind of hard to do in some other software. Okay, so we're going to focus on some really interesting techniques. So we're going to look a bit about uh, Maya and then the workflow between Maya and Mudbox, and also some nice tricks in Mudbox. Okay, um, and then we're also going to well, just to show you this for a second. So this is a model that, I, well, this is kind of a, uh, an image I've been working on for a couple of weeks. Um, so I modeled everything inside uh, Maya, and then I textured it. Um, well, I sculpted some details inside ZBrush. Um, but then after I textured it in Mudbox, and then I also textured it separately in Mari. Okay, so I was just quite curious to work out sort of the, the benefits of some of the different software. Um, I think uh, Mudbox is a slightly understated software, and but it has some really nice surprising tricks. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, an image I'm just working on for fun right now. I'm kind of too busy lecturing to, to work for in the industry. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if I just jump forward a couple of these, I decided a couple of months ago to try and make almost like a graphic novel that was like, um, you know, to do with the Terminator. So I've been experimenting with different kinds of styles that I could use for this graphic novel. And this is kind of one of them I came up with. So if I just jump forward a couple of frames, you can see, so they're quite kind of graphic, quite kind of painterly. So this is the model that I basically, that I modeled. Um, I modeled the whole thing in about sort of, about say four minutes, that's not possible. No, I modeled the whole thing in about four or five days. And that was in between sort of uh, teaching full-time classes. So it's really like speed modeling. So it's not 100% accurate, but you get quite a good idea. Um, and it's quite fun and interesting. And you can definitely tell it's the Terminator. Okay, so just gonna jump forward a couple of pictures. So we're gonna look at um, some different techniques in Mudbox, like uh, sculpting, projecting different photographs, sculpting from photographs, we're going to look at the paint tools, we're going to look at the sculpting tools, and then also some of the power of the sculpt layers and then the paint layers. Okay, it's really quite interesting. Um, it's definitely worth, worth watching, okay? So, again, there's a, some of the other image I was making for fun. So this is like Terminator and then Baby Terminator. Yeah, and then again, it's just playing around with some different kind of sort of graphics, slightly postural style, lens flares, things like that, and then sort of playing around with more kind of graphic images, and then more kind of more postural, you know, more like kind of poster. And then again, lots and lots of lens flares. Excellent, great. So there's kind of a rough introduction to what we're going to be doing. But, you know, in terms of the techniques we're going to be going over, we're going to be looking at uh, the modeling inside, well, not the modeling, we're going to be looking at the UVs inside Maya so that it's ready to go to Mudbox. And then after that, we're going to send it to Mudbox, and then we're going to open up. Um, we're going to add things like paint layers. We're going to show you how to use brushes. After that, we're going to look at how to use stamps and stencils and then how to project photographs, how to change the color of the photographs that we're projecting, uh, how to use layer masks, uh, how to export textures from Mudbox to Photoshop, and how to import them back to Photoshop. Um, after that, how to create different kinds of channels, for example, specular, uh, reflection, uh, diffuse, um, and also kind of how to copy b between channels, how to transfer images. And then we'll also look a little bit about sculpting, some of the nice kind of sculpting features of Mudbox. Um, yeah, then after that, once kind of happy, and I've shown you how to experiment with different kinds of photographs for texturing and for sculpting, then we'll look at uh, importing some of those maps back into Maya. Okay, so it'll be like a, lots of interesting techniques and also a bit of a workflow um, so you can see how you can use these programs together and how they are used on a kind of frequent, you know, frequent basis in the industry. So once we've exported all these maps, we're going to put them back into Maya and then we'll have, uh, we'll put them into, for example, an AI standard, one of the new Arnold sort of shaders, and we'll look at, um, yeah, a little bit about adding some lights and HDR, maybe making an HDR, something like that, and also probably render setup. Yeah, quite a few things. And then also, you know, this is uh, an image which I kind of textured, um, and then also I was quite happy with the way they looked, but also for the final thing, I wanted it to almost look like a kind of finished poster. Um, so I was experimenting with some kind of graphics inside Photoshop, um, Photoshop brushes, that kind of thing, to add this kind of rough textural look around the edges. So we'll kind of go into that briefly, but that, that part's really simple. Okay, great, so look forward to get started. Um, get started. <laughs> 